Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Srinu Gopal. As part of today's episode, we'll understand how can we create a table using SQL code in case of SAP HANA database. As you are aware, we can create a tables in two different ways, one graphically and one is using SQL code. So we all are aware HANA supports SQL as a primary programming language. So for that reason, as part of today's episode, we'll understand how can we create a simple table. Okay. So, come on friends, let us start today's session. So, before we start, let us understand what would be our structure of the table. Let us create a simple table with the ID as a first column and it can be of type integer. Similarly, the name which can be of type n var char maybe 100 or 60. Uh, I don't think we will have any name with 100 character but if it is a full name it can be. So we can also have two different column first name and uh, if you want uh, uh, middle name and if you also want last name you can go with that or else we will have only two columns id first name last name and you can also have mobile number which can be of type uh, nvar care maybe 12 or 14 okay and uh, we can also have a column for email id email and where care maybe 50 character length very simple we can call this particular table as maybe the vendor okay so let us get into the system and understand how can we create a columnar table whose name is called vendor and under that vendor table we should have four or five columns id first name last name mobile number and email id okay and id would be our primary key correct because id will indicate there cannot be two vendors with the same id can exist in this table right so let us get into the system i have logged into my ana studio and currently i am in ana modeler perspective we can also achieve the same using ana development perspective also i have a schema called i learn underscore venu so since it is my name is Venu, I just created with my name, but professionally or whenever you are working in any project, create a schema name as per the naming convention or the business need. Okay. So you see over here, under my schema, if I expand the schema, you have different database specific folders. There's a folder called tables. Under this table, we will be able to see the different tables present under this schema. So, if I have to create my own schema, okay. So, if I have to create my own table under this schema, what I have to do, place a cursor on your schema and there is something called SQL, open SQL console for the selected schema or else you can also right click and open SQL console, both are one and the same. So, now there is an SQL console which is opened over here. Now, we have to write as code. What would be the syntax? The syntax for creating a table would be create table create column table because in hana database we know hana works on a columnar architecture and uh, having table created as a columnar table will give lot of performance improvement while uh, doing the aggregated function and uh, other complex functions so create column table followed by you have to give the schema name followed by the table name since currently i have opened my sql by selecting this schema so you see over here current schema is this but ideally the best practice is always give the schema name dot the table name maybe i will call my table as vendor okay and open bracket and close bracket okay so inside this you will have to specify your columns list of possible columns id i'll call this as integer this is primary key primary key okay each of the columns in your hana database or in any sql 
the database which supports SQL, right? You have to declare or specify by separating with comma. Now the next column is first name, which is of type n where care may be hundred. Similarly, last name again n where care, which is of length hundred, and then I believe we specified mobile number mobile n where care. 14 similarly the last column i will specify as email email n where care maybe 15 okay very simple table my there's a column called id which is a primary key first name last name mobile number and email id we have this many columns okay all you have to do is select this and click on execute button Okay, as soon as I click on execute button, you will be able to see there will be a table which will appear over here. First, let us execute this. Let me maximize this. I am executing this. See what it says. There is an error. It says incorrect syntax there. Email. Okay. We have missed a comma over here. Specify comma. Rerun your SQL statement. See successfully executed in 6 milliseconds and 513 microseconds okay very simple now if you go back and refresh your table folder or entire schema you will be able to see there's a new table got created uh, whose name is vendor okay you see it has five table five columns in it id first name last name mobile number and email id you can also see what is the reference data type okay and it's a primary key and it cannot be null obviously if at all we have defined a particular column as a primary key it cannot be blank or null okay this is how you will create a table if you want to see the content of this right click on this table and click on open data preview okay since we have not inserted any data into this sql table or the table or the column or table which we created using sql it is blank so when we start inserting the data then we, if we do the data preview we will be able to see the content of this particular table okay hopefully as part of this video you guys understood how can we create a simple columnar table in sap hana using sql code so if at all you have any doubts related to hana related sql or else if at all you are looking for training on SAP ABAP, SAP BW, SAP BW ABAP, BW on HANA, SAP Native HANA and HANA related SQL, feel free to reach out to me on my mail ID that is venugopalamin1988 at the red gmail.com. You can also call me on my mobile number that is plus 91 followed by 973998-3992. You can also send WhatsApp message so that uh, I will uh, have a look at your query which you have sent across and I will respond back. Thank you so much guys and have a good one.